New tonight, DeKalb County officials want to solve dozens of missing persons cases using DNA. They're offering free testing tomorrow as a way to help move the investigations forward. News Hit reporter Kim Luffler tells us what you need to know. For us here at the medical examiner's office, getting those individuals identified and then subsequently getting them rejoined with their families is huge for us. These are images created with facial reconstruction technology of some of the 27 people DeKalb County officials are working to identify, the oldest case dating back to 1988. That is going to be a challenge, but it's not slowed us down. Uh, the team of folks from the district attorney's office and here at the DeKalb Medical Examiner's Office have indicated that, you know, if leads are pursuable, they're willing to step up uh, and take on that challenge. That technology played a key role in identifying the remains of six year old William Hamilton. His body discovered in a DeKalb County cemetery in 1999. Leads were cold until officials say someone spotted his photo online through the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. They saw the last image uh, that was done, stated that that looked exactly like William and pursued letting someone know about it, which is key. William's mother, Teresa Black, was charged with his murder last year. DeKalb County created a cold case task force after William was identified. The event Saturday, the public library in Decatur will allow community members to file a missing persons report or for family members to provide DNA to help identify remains. If you have information out there, you believe that person or folks to, to be missing, that might have been your name. Neighbor, uh, might have been a school teacher, might have been someone that was relevant in your life, or might have been that guy that was standing on the corner that you saw for a long period of time that you no longer see anymore. Please come out, provide as much information. It may be insignificant to you, but it may be that one piece of the puzzle that we need. The DeKalb County District Attorney's Office did receive a $500,000 grant from the Department of Justice to help identify these 27 remains. The event Saturday will take place between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. We've posted information on what to bring with you on our website, fox5atlanta.com. Indicator Kim Luffler, Fox 5 News.